Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We're looking at the differences between Google Keep, Reminders, and Tasks. Now, Reminders are specific to Calendar, um, and Google Keep is a completely separate app, which we'll be looking at here in just a second. And Tasks can also be used across different applications, even though it is something that's normally associated with Google Calendar. So what I want to show you right off the bat is uh, where you actually go to be able to use these different um, resources. So within Google Calendar, whenever I create a new event from the calendar itself, so either when you're in month mode or some of the other views, what you can do is simply click over um, a date. So for example, here I'm, on, uh, I'm in November, so I'm gonna click on the 25th. And you're gonna see it in my pop-up window that I have some options here for reminder, task, appointment slots, um, and then to, just to create a regular event. Um, so this is how you can actually find these. Now, reminders are different from tasks and Google Keep in the sense that you set up a reminder, and I'm just gonna call this demo, um, and you can certainly set a, a time um, for that particular reminder, and we'll just leave it at nine o'clock, uh, and then say uh, save, right? And so what you'll notice here with reminders, for starters, you can tell it's a reminder because it has a little icon of the little um, finger, um, and that is a reminder that's set for 9 p.m. And this one here um, is a reminder that's set for all day, hence why it has the block around it. But again, the same little icon. And so visually, that's how you can tell you have a reminder. Now, reminders automatically will be um, moved from one day to the next and to the next and to the next until you actually mark it as a completed um, uh, task that you that you finish doing. So here it says pay bill. So let's say Monday the 23rd, I go in and I pay my bills. Uh, or perhaps this is um, plan a lesson um, with my colleague at school and we get together and we do it. And so once it's done, I can just come in here and say Mark is done. Now, if we weren't able to meet, if me and my colleague weren't able to meet, then this reminder will automatically move from Monday the 23rd over onto Tuesday uh, the 24th. And it'll do that automatically until you go in and actually mark that particular reminder as done. So that's what reminders do. Now that's very different from a task in the sense that a task might appear like it's the same in that, well, you could also say uh, meet with, um, let's say Mr. Garcia, uh, for lesson planning, right? That could have been a reminder. The difference for tasks is gonna be a couple of things. Uh, from Google Calendar, um, yes, again, you can actually come in here and designate a time. Um, you can also add description and you can create lists for your tasks. Now I only have the one, uh, which is by default on this particular account, but you could have multiple lists, meaning that you could have tasks that are associated with perhaps your classroom and then another list that's associated with the work that you do with your colleagues. Um, so this allows you to maintain these tasks separately and basically be able to you know, really organize them, right? Well, let's go ahead and click on save. Now, the, the, the other difference to tasks is the fact that it doesn't just appear as an option in calendar. Um, and before I leave calendar here, I do want to point one other thing out for you over on the right hand side of Gmail, calendar, drive, docs, etc. You will see that you have some items on the on the right. These are shortcuts to be able to get to your tasks as well as to Google Keep, which we'll talk about here in just a second. You can, of course, add some more. Um, you can get other add on um, applications to add in that um, menu there to the right hand side. But let me jump over to my Gmail because I wanna show you that in Gmail, you'll also find that very same icon listed there on the right hand side, as well as of course, right up above it is Google Keep. But there's tasks. And what, what's really nice about this is that when you pop that open, you'll see any of the tasks that you currently have um, already assigned to you. So there are some of those demos that, um, that I was just creating. And this is nice because I can be on different applications to not just see them, but to actually create new tasks as well. So anything I create within my Gmail, um, let's do it demo two. 
anything I create here, and let's go ahead and edit this, and you could add details here. You can uh, certainly organize it in your list there as well. We saw that earlier. You can add a time and a date. And when you do this, even from, uh, from Gmail, you'll find that uh, it'll put it for you into your calendar because it's an actual task. So remember that tasks are associated with um, your, uh, your calendar. So even though I've built this and created this particular task inside of my uh, Gmail account, it's going to add it to my calendar for me, which is quite nice. I can also be on other products, like um, here I am in a Google Doc, and you'll notice again over to the right-hand side, I've got Calendar, I've got Google Keep, and I've got my tasks there. And when I pop that open, once again, I'll be able to see any tasks. And this is a different account, which is why don't why you don't see those demos I just created. These are different demos I've done. So you can see um, some tasks that I've created here. So this is really nice because you can be on different applications within your Google account. I'm just jumping over to Google Drive so you can see that in Google Drive, you also see those items and there's tasks right there. And this is a big plus because for tasks, that means you can assign them. You can look to see what, what you've got coming up, what tasks you're working on um, directly from these different applications without having to necessarily jump over to Google Calendar. And so that's gonna be one of, you know, the, really the, the biggest differences between what we just saw as far as what a reminder is uh, which again is just something that's going to be in your calendar it's going to pop up as a notification it's going to let you know hey you know you're supposed to do this and if you don't mark it as done it moves on its own to the next day versus tasks are tasks you're assigning to you uh, to yourself uh, uh, along with notes and details um, that you can access across your different applications now google keep is a totally different uh type of application it's like google docs google sheets it's it's an application it's not just a feature within uh your your google um different applications like gmail and calendar like we just saw instead google keep is its own application however sometimes it's confused with uh reminders or tasks because within google keep you can certainly set up reminders um, which is quite nice um, but really google keep is meant to be a place where you house uh, all some pretty much your information when taking notes maybe you go to a uh, an educational conference and you you take pictures of things and you um you collect links and resources and tools and sessions and you can put all of that into um notes and i have um just here on my other account i do actually um, have some examples to show you. So let me uh, let me jump over to this account so that you can see um, just kind of what the what the look and feel of it is going to be. Now, mind you, you can customize this. Of course, yours don't have to be yellow or white in the background or what have you. You can choose your colors, but you'll notice like you can bring in images. Uh, you can create to do list. Um, you can uh, add, uh, whatchamacallit, links to things uh, if you need that, et cetera. So, um, so this allows you to really be able to build um, your sort of uh, this application, build it with, you know, all these different things that you have going on, but in a way that organizes it. And I love the fact that you can embed and bring in different kinds of media quite easily. So it's not just text, you can bring in videos, um, you can also share your, um, your keep notes so that others can collaborate with you. So for example, I went with a couple of colleagues to uh, a conference. And so we were sharing a meet to be able to figure out all of our transportation to, over to this conference. Um, so we could coordinate, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. And so it's hard to see there, but I've got two people um, that are a part of this particular um, note where we were able to mark things off and uh, really be able to communicate and plan um, really well together. So that's quite nice that you can collaborate um, together on projects. Um, so lots of really cool things you can do in here. If you haven't used um, Keep before, I highly recommend uh, taking a peek to see if it might be a tool that, that works for you. And that's gonna be at keep.google.com. So in a nutshell, that's the difference between uh, reminders, tasks, and Google Keep. I hope that was useful.